Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will discuss about golden era of microbiology. Golden era of microbiology began in 1860. It lasted about 50 years. 1862-1910. In this topic of golden era of microbiology, we will discuss about some findings. In this video, especially, we will discuss about Bloomley's pasture contribution to golden era of microbiology. And other scientists were Robert Koch, Ferdinand Korn, John Tyndall, Ferdinand John, and other scientists. Golden era of microbiology started with the work of Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch. Louis Pasteur, he was born on December 27, 1822. He was a French chemist and microbiologist. He investigated number of aspects such as swan neck flask. In this part we will look at the swan neck flask. He conducted an experiment in which he used a special flask whose neck was shaped like an S. Or neck of swan. Hence the name of experiment is swan neck flask experiment. He introduced a nutrient rich bot in the flask which he called the infusion. He then boiled the infusion killing any microorganisms which were already present. He allowed it to settle down. Due to the shape of the flask, the infusion was exposed to air. However, the dust particles and other things in the air never entered into the infusion. Because of the shape of flask, they were structured in the curve of the flask. He repeated his experiment, but this time he overturned the flask so as to allow the infusion to contact the curve of the flask. That curve was in contact with outside. He observed putrefaction of culture. Through this experiment, he disproved that the reason and source of putrefaction was outside the culture and this not the spontaneous generation theory. If you want to know about spontaneous generation theory, you can click it into our channel. There is a detailed explanation about the spontaneous generation theory. This is the Swan Neck Flask experiment. First, uh, he applied heat to the nutrient rich pot in this Swan Neck Flask and he allowed this flask. To sit and he observed there are no bacteria. And next time he repeated the same, but this time he removed the neck and let it sit. And he observed bacteria in the flask. And next time he repeated the same, but this time he tilted the flask and observe there are bacteria in the flask. Through so this experiment, he discovered the theory of spontaneous generation. It is about Swan Neck Flask experiment of Louis Pasteur. We will discuss about Louis Pasteur's other contribution in the next video. Thank you for watching.